Good night, fellow punters. The clock on the wall says half ten. I'm in the same spot back at base, but there is no sound on the laptop. And uh, I was looking for advice there. I followed instructions, but to no avail. I don't know what happened. So uh, I said I'd, I'd throw on this one quick and I'll bring it to the quack. The laptop quack tomorrow. Um, I slept there for an hour and a half. I was absolutely wiped today, totally, after late night last night. It be nearly five o'clock going to bed. It's great fun when you're at it out late, meeting people and drinking pints, but um, the toll is always greater as you get older, I find. More, uh, no hangover, just tired. Uh, no energy today. Great night, though. Met a lot of people. There was people up from Kerry, from uh, Ballyhigh. Um, relations of uh, my nephew on the father's side so uh, they had a good time uh, they went back this evening didn't see them today was too tired um, I seen only one of the races last night in the pub we were in um, I seen the first one seen the second one after um, right yard Chad Brown wrong horse Frankie got the lead. I thought he was going to set it up for the one I picked. Um, but not to be, Frankie held on. Uh, the other one uh, won doing handstands. When I heard the first uh, quarter was in 23 and change, I knew that uh, the others were goosed. Um, so I made a few pounds. And then today we got off to a great start with transmission. That was 10s yesterday evening, until 7s when I started the video. And then when I went on to show you guys uh, the page, um, to then to 11 to 2. Heavily supported overnight into 9 to 4 and returned at 100 to 30. Great ride from Joe Anderson on the same uh, course and distance that he made the miraculous recovery uh, some months back. So uh, well done to the owner, Paul McEwen, Schlegel man. He'd be happy this evening. He'd have a few pounds in the wheelbarrow. Um, we had one other horse. What was the other horse? Uh, oh, the one up the north. Done no good. Um, I mentioned last night about the earlier one uh, that uh, Mark Walsh was riding for uh, JP. It was a big gamble on that. Uh, it was fours yesterday evening. I think somebody said that it opened up at sevens at uh, some place yesterday. Um, it was 11 to 4 when I was doing the video and into uh, evens uh, it'll win again too um, I don't know about the one we picked a great buzz there wasn't much of a spark out of it today or buzz um, anyway tomorrow there's two uh, I have nothing to look at now I, I don't know whether I remember this or not but I'll get the video done we have two buzz horses the 242, Trilby, had won for us the last day. Um, now, this is a tougher race, and it's back to five furlongs. I'm a bit concerned about it. Um, and I can't look at the phone now <laughs> to see what I was afraid of. But uh, say the one of the last two would stay loyal to it. And the 342, something similar, look back smiling. Um, one in Doncaster, likes heavy ground. It's an each way bet. In the 3.30 at Kelso, um, I think it's a two-horse race there between your own story, but I chose uh, the bottom one, Prince uh, de Fichot. Now, that's up £13 for two defeats. I hate to see that happening to a horse. But last time it was second in the Eider, and the horse that was fifth in that race, Cruise Control, came out and won an entry. Uh, the Eider is a good race, but it's four miles won. Whereas this is back to three miles. That is the worry. But it, it's a seven-year-old. It's improving. And it'll be out in front. Uh, your own story was uh, placed in the Scottish National last year. And uh, I thought that would be going back to that. But that's if they run it tomorrow, it'll be too soon again to run in the Scottish National. I would have thought perhaps not. Uh, I think it's between the two of them. But I'm hoping that... Uh, French de Fichot wins it if the bottom is. Um, and then at the four o'clock, 
uh, Les's legacy won this race last year off the same rating. He had a seven pound claimer last year, has a five pound claimer this year. Um, he has he's been lucky enough um, for the trainer. Um, it opened at 14s today, it was returned at 14s last year, but it's into sevens now. It's an each way bet as well. Um, so I wanted to get it done to see, kind of fix this, or else I'll be going earlier to town in the morning with it. So I'll put them up in the description as quick as possible. Anyway, bash the bookies over and out.